Hello and welcome back to Skyrim. Here we are in the Elftown Ruined Tower and when we last left off, my goodness, we made the journey across the frozen wastes of the north from Septimus Cygnus's outpost all the way down here to what I believe is Elftown. But apparently, Elftown is huge and this is not Elftown proper. This is like a side wing of the dungeon or something that's not actually where I want to be, but it's where I need to be. <laughs> because I obviously need to find as much grand adventure as I possibly can. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna hope for the best. Maybe there's something amazing here. Ooh, ooh. And you guys gave me some tips. Firstly, I need to swap these two around to maximize my dual wielding potency. And I went back to Riften and dropped a whole bunch of stuff off. Look at this. <laughs> wow! That doesn't even look like my inventory anymore. Whose inventory is this? It's so empty. Wow, have you ever? I really haven't. And I dropped off a whole bunch of potions that I feel... <sighs> were just weighing me down. They really were. These ones I think I'll be able to use. And I really should. Like things like this haggling. You haggle for 15% better prices for 30 seconds. And honestly, why don't I use that? Why not? Next time I buy something pretty expensive, maybe I can haggle the price of a house down. 15% <laughs> off like 30k is a good amount. A really good amount. And, along with all of this, it just gets better. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Dragonbane is now legendary. That's a good amount of damage. I like it. So I gotta try it out sometime. But wait, right now, that's going in R. And this one, where is it? It's going in L. L and R. Straight up. Swap them around. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. Go. Oh, it's not so fast. <laughs> you see, the problem is, can I still backstab like this? I mean, this looks good. Look. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? I'm going all hacksaw up in here. <laughs> what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing with your hand there, Lumen? Oh, okay. It looks fine when you're in third person, but when you're in first person... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like revving it up. I'm like rearing to go. Come on, come on, come on! Rawr! <laughs> I like it. I really do like it. But I gotta remember now that I have to right-click to backstab. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. So I've got like a wind-up dagger, or maybe it's like shake to use. Maybe one, two shakes and then hit. One, two, bam! That's what it looks like to me. Okay, okay, enough wasting time. <laughs> Let's head in here. See what we can see. Oh. I've already forgotten what's going on here, but those... Those eyes... Look like they're gonna shoot something at me. Silver ore. Are they trying to be tricksy here? Ooh, ooh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a second. What is this? Take this? No. No. <laughs> they don't want the silver ore. At least that guy's got proper eyes. These ones... Oh, not so much. They really just look like they want to shoot me. Okay. What is... Oh, button. Okay, I'll press that. Spell tome, lesser ward. Do I have that spell? Can I learn that spell? That's actually what I should be asking myself. What? Gold ore? Let's just press this button. Oh! Wow, okay. And I was expecting like little arrows or something. <laughs> no. No, that didn't happen. These aren't mere arrows. I can probably just wool the three here. I think I'll do it. Right after I've looted everything, of course. What? That was the most difficult apprentice chest I've ever opened. <laughs> okay. Fine. It's open now. Ooh. Now that is the kind of potion I want to pick up. More of those, please. Less of this other junk that I'm never ever gonna use. I gotta check the value. I uh, ooh, nothing worth taking here. The value to weight ratio. It's gotta be checked. Oh, so now we'll be selected and go. <gasps> wow! I did it. I didn't take even one point of damage. Nothing. Perfect. Close that behind me. Don't leave that open, man. I wonder if those things would ever run out of gas. 
And this? Can I? I can't actually trigger pressure plates anymore. So if there was a pressure plate here, I wouldn't know. Wouldn't have the faintest idea. It's not a problem, obviously. Uh oh, I hear something. Shh. Gonna take you down. Wh why does he come out of his little shell there if he doesn't know I'm here? What kind of timing is that? Do you think he just periodically comes out to check what's cracking <laughs> outside his little pokey ball? It's possible. It's quite possible. I mean, it doesn't look very comfortable in there. It's not as spacious as he'd like, I'm sure. I also dropped all my gems off, which I feel is probably a good idea. They were taking a lot of space up. A lot. When you count them all together. Ooh, ooh. It just adds up. It ends up adding up. What is this? Can I shoot this thing? I feel as if I should try. <laughs> it, it, that reminds me of a little, like, spaceship. A little, like, alien craft or something. Oh, I like them. There are quite a few. <gasps> what is this? Is this like a bank teller or something? Is this the reception? Alftan reception? <laughs> Do I have to sign in or something? Where's your ledger? Let me sign myself in. Lumen the Adventurer. <laughs> Reason for your visit? Seeking grand adventure, of course. Obviously. Ooh. Wow. That is... Some solid metal. My goodness. I like it. They seem to have misplaced their ledger or something. I don't know where they put it. The ink is here. There's no ledger. Can't be signing in now. It's not called a ledger, is it? I'm not calling it that. But it might be called something else. What does this do? Oh. What the heck? Why would they put that there? This is not a multiplayer game where you can ask your friends to come through and then stand here waiting for them and then the second they pass you press this and you giggle. <laughs> Take that, guys. That's, that's what this button is actually here for. But Skyrim's not multiplayer. Yet. So it has no use. I say yet because I saw people working on a multiplayer mod. Man. Now that is something I'm keen for. We don't need no Dawn God DLC. We want a DLC that allows co-op multiplayer. Wow. Imagine the sales. It's been the top selling game on Steam for the past who knows how long. And if they add co-op multiplayer to it, it'll be the top selling game on Steam forever. Nothing would ever surpass it. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little spider worker. I just shot his top off. Oh, there comes another one. Watch this. You're going down, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, but I still feel bad. I still feel kind of bad. Dwarven arrows, I'll take them. For shooting these poor little guys. They probably came out of here with something in mind other than attacking me, but then I was there, and they were probably, like, duty-bound to attack me. And it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. That's... That's not a life you'd wish upon anyone. Anyone at all. What is that up there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dwarven arrows. Two of them. In a quiver. Oh, 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 oh. A fork. Is that just a normal fork? Is it a dwarven fork? Whatever it is, it's looking a little bit mangy. You can stay here, fork. <laughs> I don't need you. What is this? Is this another one of those crafting dungeons? Where those amongst us that have an appreciation for blacksmithing have the most fun. It seems like it. From the little bit that I've seen so far, that seems to be what it is. Why are you flickering over here? What is going on? Man. More of the same. I want like a big open room. Where I can do some proper archery. Get some- Oh, oh, I'm going back where I came. Oh my goodness. Which way is it? Here. This way. Are we going up? So maybe it does connect. I mean, I think some of you said it didn't connect to the other area of the dungeon, but maybe it does. Oh, no, this is the top of the tower. Huh? 
I was about to ask, is this some sort of lighthouse? But no. <laughs> if it was a lighthouse, it wouldn't have made sense. Unless that right there opens. No, but that looks pretty... Pretty stuck. Pretty solidly sealed. That's not opening. Because if this light did spin around then it would send a pretty clear beam through there. Oh, there's another one over there as well. I don't really understand the point of this place. I don't get it. Ooh, ooh. But I will take the dwarven arrows. Okay, does this go back to sky? I knew it. I kind of knew it. I mean, it's not a problem. <gasps> there we go. So it just led me up to the proper Alftand. This is going to be amazing. I can't wait. Now, how do I get in there? Around this way, I guess. Must be. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? Why is it saying I must go through there? No, no, no. Custom destination. Please, just get out of here. Can I, can I remove you? There. Much better. No. No. What? No. Why is it saying I must go through there? No, can't I come around? Oh, I'm going around, I'm going around this way. Okay, I don't even care. I'm finding my own adventure. It's silly listening to them if they're leading me astray. Unless they <laughs> actually aren't leading me astray and that is the only way to get in there. No, 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 no. It seems like I can get in here from up above. Go, 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 go. There we go. Much better. That looks like an entrance. Or is that the exit? I've done discovered. Well, thank you. Is there a little village out here? Shame, it's not looking so good, is it? Perhaps there was a village out here, now they're only ruins. I think that's the exit. If I remember correctly, that's how the exit looked to the place where we found mules. Where was it? I don't even know where it was. How can I not? There. Mzinschlift. That's how its exit looked as well. It was a little thing like that, a little gazebo with some gates around it. But let's have a look. Maybe maybe it's an entrance as well. Go, 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 go. No. No. You take an elevator and it brings you up to the top. I remember now. It's exactly what happened. And down here? Is it just me, or is my character struggling a lot more today to jump over even the smallest of obstacles? I don't get- What is that? Is that an ore or is that a shovel? Oh, it's a shovel. <laughs> That's kind of understandable. Maybe it's like a snow shovel or something. But if it was an ore out here, it, would it wouldn't have made sense. Then the devs would just be trying to mess with me. <gasps> Shame! Oh my goodness. That's a terrible way to go. Or oh, is this a tent? Oh no, this is a tent. Okay, so he might have been killed quickly. I thought this was the roof of a house that had fallen on someone in their bed. And then they were stuck out here in the snow. Like totally trapped. Under the collapsed roof. But it actually looks like a tent. So that did in fact not happen. That's good. That is very good because that would have been disturbing. <gasps> Expedition manifest. What does this say? We've managed to secure the site and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far. Especially those from the College of Winterhold. Who seem to think the glory of exploring every rune should be theirs alone. <laughs> I kind of think that sometimes. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Sala Trebatius. Oh, myself. Expedition leader. Umana. My constant companion and bodyguard. Okay. Valley, a mage not associated with Winterhold. Took some time to find. Really? Are they all associated with Winterhold? I mean, I guess. If you're a mage, it just makes sense to associate yourself with Winterhold. Makes sense. Indrust. A fellow explorer of some local renown. <laughs> that could have been me. It could have been Lumen. A fellow adventurer of some global renown. See, my little tagline would be a little bit different. But at the same time, quite glorious. Yag. Is that next one Yag? A great brute of a woman hired to keep the rest of the labor in check. Okay. Jadar and Jazar. Two Khajiit brothers hired as labor. Need a couple more laborers getting through the ice is provided difficult. Uh, we've set up shelter and scouted the areas. The small ruins at the lower plateau 
of the glacier don't seem connected to the main structure. I... I figured. Okay, I figured. And we haven't managed to find a way into the tower parapet we found here. That's the way out, though. Yag mentioned spotting a fissure in the glacier wall that may lead into the ruins, so we are going to try to find a way. Shame. Looks like a storm is coming. This is bad. I'll take this. I'll take it. And here? What is this? Are these your supplies? They look like they haven't been here for quite some time. If they were staying in this house, then they haven't been back for, I don't know, a good while. This hasn't been inhabited recently. I can tell you that. Don't need no special adventurers since <laughs> to know that. Jade and Emerald Circlet. I'll take it. Everything ex- Oh, you can take that. There you go. Oh. Oh, I dropped my gems off. I'll have to get those back for Medici. So now, they found a way to get to the entrance through a glacier. Is it down here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. I wonder if that little crew of adventurers or expeditionists, if they constructed all these bridges and stairs and I suppose you could call it scaffolding of sorts. If so, that's mighty impressive. It really, really is. Oh, just like that. Can I just walk in? Okay, straight up. I can't wait to see what happened to them. I mean, they are fellow adventurers. So if they need my help, I'll be willing to lend them a helping hand. <laughs> I would say for a fee, of course, but I really don't need money. I really don't. Just finding them and saving their lives would be payment enough. Can't wait to explore this place. Come on. Come on. Come on, loading screen. <gasps> and I'm nearly leveling. That's good. That is good too. I would expect them to set up a camp inside here. That's usually what happens. Ooh, maybe they did, but it's not looking too good anymore. Wow. <gasps> oh. Goodness, I thought it was another book. That sucks. I enjoy these expedition manifests. Huh? Is that... No. Is that... No. It's not a trap. Something incredibly sinister happened down here. If that's blood over there, then I just don't like the look of it. Ooh, ooh. I'll take this. Here we go. A bedroll that's not owned. That means its owner is dead. And that kind of sucks. Whoa. What happened here? This is Grizzly! Oh! No! And they had a musician. I said had because... <laughs> Honestly, I don't think anyone from here is still alive. Oh, if they... Oh, I just took that bottle. Why did I take that bottle? If they are, they must be incredibly tough. To survive whatever happened here. Is this another parapet? Another roof? That's interesting. Even more blood. You don't need to be a trained detective to know that something really bad happened here. <laughs> I would go as far as to say it could have been a homicide. Who knows? Maybe some bandits broke in here. Maybe it was actually the denizens of the dwarven what? ruins. Shh. I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Tizar. Huh? You always to to keep it for yourself. They're alive. No, there's got to be more skooma. Shut up. Skooma. Shut up. Don't lie to me, Jazar. You hid it. You always try to steal. No ways. They're on about skooma. In a place like this. There must be something bigger and better to worry about than skooma. Oh, poor addict. Makes me kind of sad. Could I? Could I go through there? Perhaps. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Local map. Oh, wait, maybe I go this way. Do I go this way to get that way? <gasps> no. There must be an entrance here. I must have walked past it or something. You've got to be kidding me. Shh. What is this? Hey, no. Let me through. I don't think I can go through here. This is not the kind of game where you can just bash a barricade down. <laughs> Sadly, that's not going to happen. As much as I'd like to do it, I think... A game like Skyrim with destructible terrain and destructible doodads would be so much fun. 
but it just wasn't meant to be for Skyrim, sadly. I gotta say, the carpets are holding up pretty nicely down here. All things considered. All things considered. What is this? Okay, so... Jadar and Jazar must have come through here. Unless they went through the top part there and barricaded themselves in. That's also possible. I guess. Oh, oh. What is that? Can I go in there? That would be so amazing. No, 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 no. Maybe there's just some sort of little shoot where those little spiders drop from. That would also not surprise me. But it would have been so cool if I could go into this place's, like, air ducts or something. Air vents. Ventilation system. If I could crawl around in there. I'd enjoy that. I really would. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Dwarves. Volume 2. <laughs> ooh, research notes. I'll check those out. Oh, they're not too long. Okay. If only Umani would have left one of these dwarf woven machine creatures intact for me to study. Intact? Well, if you bash it to death, you should still be able to see what it's all about. The fact that they almost killed those Khajiit brothers in the middle of the night doesn't mean we couldn't have found a way to disable one. We dragged some stuff in front of the pipes they came out of to stop them from coming back. They are simply fascinating. <laughs> Is this the expedition leader? It's just as Kel... Oh, really? Kelselmo described in Dwarves Volume... Did he really write that book? I'm off to find him. He is my next objective in the Thieves Guild questline. I have to go check him out in Markoth. Wow. So he's the author of Dwarves, Volume 2 as well. The appearance does, in fact, resemble that of an arachnid. I had thought that to be uh, an embellishment given by his source. The inclusion of the soul gem into the design... Okay, yes, yes, I... I do actually know that. Oddly enough, it doesn't seem to appear the main power source of the apparatus. Perhaps some sort of harmonic resonance with energies contained in the soul gem. Okay. Really? Huh? That was strange. I thought I just saw something moving. What? Beyond the barred door. It looked vaguely humanoid. I wonder what it could be. An undiscovered automaton? <laughs> If they've only discovered the little arachnids, then they have a lot to learn. I've seen tons more. Especially like that big guy that we battled down in Mizinchlift. I think that's where it was. It was like this big titan thing. I'm going to move my bedroll down here to see if I can catch another glimpse of it. This is also exciting. You know, after reading that, I'm going to go ahead and assume that that guy's dead now. Do we my inquiries? Volume 3. Okay. I'll take the soul gem. So did he see it moving back here? Oh. Oh, I think he did a lot more than just see it. <laughs> Judging from all this blood, that was not a friendly encounter. Shame, and this is his bedroll that he was talking about. Man. People like that, they are always the silliest. They're blinded by their passions. I'm passionate about archery. I really am. But did they? <laughs> was that... Was that little basket meant to stop this thing from jumping out? That was not gonna work. But as I was say, I, I'm, I'm passionate about archery, but it doesn't blind me. They don't call me Lumen the Blind Marksman. You never hear that name going around. Hey, 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 hey. This torch is still burning. Alright. The Khajiit brothers. They're probably gonna attack me, aren't they? I think they are. And I think they're just around that corner. Huh? Oh! Wait. Shh. Can I do some stabby stabby action here? And? No, no, what are you blocking for? What the heck? No, 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 no. No, this is not cool. There we go. And can we put the dagger in the other one? Wait, 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 wait. That goes there. And this one goes here. There we go. And now... What? Oh. Whew. I was just about to complain about that. <laughs> My sneak attack did work. So that's good. Quicksilver ore. I wonder if they're little mining bots. That would be cool. They should make like a simulation mod for Skyrim. 
where you control a lair, like a whole hive of these little spiders. You make them do various menial tasks for you. Sounds like fun. Hey, 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 what is that? Another shovel, and these torches are all still burning. What is this? Oh, it's another dead spider. Where are these two Khajiit? Where are they? They were just in here. <laughs> they seem to have left their gold coins and their coin purse behind. Wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Definitely taking these. Weight to value ratio of the hook. Oh, what the? I, I literally jumped in my seat. <laughs> that was crazy. Did he pop out of there? Man, I did not expect that. I really didn't. Okay. Why are they dropping all their torches here? These silly brothers. Wouldn't they need them a little bit further down? What? Who is this brother? Oh, they're, they're, they're. Another of the smooth skins looking for food? But this one wasn't trapped with us. What? No. No. No, 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 no. You must be the one who took my skooma. I didn't take your skooma, you gone crazy! Oh shame, is your brother dead? Did you kill him? Oh someone my there? goodness. He killed him? <clears throat> is someone there? Oh no! Did I just murder an innocent? <laughs> I think I just murdered an innocent skooma addict. He said he's someone there just before he died. Oh no, I apologize, Jadar. I do apologize. Not that my apologies mean very much right now. But I really do. Oh, shame. Oh, that's so cruel. This is probably the hard-working, dependable brother. And that's the skooma-addicted deadbeat brother. Oh. 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 That's terrible. And I went and killed the one. Shame. What if he was gonna try and redeem himself because his addiction led his brother to death okay let's read the journal hopefully there's something about this this one what this one is at wit's end i signed jadar and myself up for this expedition to try and get him clean of the skooma oh i brought a small supply to try and bring him down slowly but the storm has us trapped in the glacier uh, has had us trapped in the glacier for weeks the other others have not yet caught on um that one with fur should not shake so much from the cold <laughs> that's something you should notice rather quickly but I run out of the little skooma I brought, and Jadar is getting pretty bad. He started hallucinating creatures coming out of the ice and the ruins. The others are starting to think he may be behind Volley's disappearance. But I know he would never do something like that. Shame. And I just killed the guy. Honestly, I think he was more than capable of doing something like that. Because this, my friends, is the scene of the crime. This axe was no doubt used to kill Jazar. So, <laughs> in conclusion, X on the bedroll. Oh, how does one do it? In Cluedo again? <laughs> it was the X in the... No, it's usually the candlestick in the dining room. Professor Plum or something. I haven't played that game for a long time. Empty skooma bottles, potent fear, extreme healing. Shame. Isn't there some sort of concoction that can... Oh, picking up wine the whole time. That can just purge your body of skooma. All traces of it and like just remove the addiction. Like a healing potion. For the body and mind. That's what he needed. Something like that. Anyway. Sadly, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Check back here soon for more. Hopefully very soon. And then we're going to head down here. To see exactly... What's going on in this rather glorious looking room? I can't wait. So, again, check back some more. Most importantly though, happy all those things.